this movie, we watch a teacher called Mr. Potsane teaching a grade 9 maths lesson, and we see what we can learn from this. Mr. Potsane teaches at a school called T.M. Setulwane, and that's in Tabanchu. Here's a summary of the lesson which is shown in this movie. The text in red refers to activities done mainly by the learners, and the text in blue refers to those where the teacher is the main focus of the activity. This is a time graph of the 55-minute lesson, again with red referring to learner activity and blue teacher focus. Notice that Mr. Potsane uses his time effectively by varying the activity type and getting the learners to answer as many questions themselves as possible. In the first five minutes, Mr. Putsane greets and settles the class and writes the homework questions on the board. He now gets two learners to answer these questions on the board. Both write on the board at the same time to save time. He then asks each learner to explain only one of the questions to the class. All this takes only five minutes. Now Mr. Putsane marks the learner's answers on the board and explains how to get the correct answer where the learners have made mistakes. Put the sign there, put the sign there. It's negative, so it should also reflect on the decimal part. While he does this, he expects the learners to mark their own work at the same time. Are you still marking the guys? Yes. Normally, Mark and do two corrections at the same time. This takes six minutes. Mr. Potsane then tells the learners he's giving them three minutes to do corrections. Three minutes later, he calls for their attention so that he can start teaching the new work for the day. For today, it's going to be fun and simultaneous. We are now 19 minutes into the lesson and all the learners have marked and corrected their homework. The remaining 36 minutes are for teaching and practicing the new concept to be taught today. Notice how Mr. Putsane has one of his blackboards clean with the new topics heading ready to teach today's concept, which is percentage. Mr. Putsane starts by finding out what learners already know about the meaning of percentage and its use in everyday life. Find out from you what is it that you know about percentages? Anything that you know about percentages? What is it that you know? Or where have you seen percentages? Or what can you say about percentages? Please close the books. Close the books. Let us be on the same page. Anything that you can say about percentages or where you have seen percentages or symbols, if there are symbols for percentages, can you just tell us those? We want the background. I want to find the background from you. Yes, Mabale? I have seen percentages and yeah. weather. Weather. Weather forecast putting uh, oh, uh, 60% chances of rain, something like that. Very good. Very good. He also asks for the symbol of percentage. <laughs> correct? Yes. yes. Now, I don't think this, I think this one is correct. Although it's not written or right, but normally means this. Yeah. Getting the learner's prior knowledge takes three minutes. For another five minutes, Mr. Putsane gets the learners to answer some questions in their books. He will use these questions to introduce a method of calculating percentage. They've done the first one for you, then. Remember, I said percentage means out of 100. So the first one there, you multiply 2 by 52 to get 100. 4, you multiply, you multiply it by 100 to get 100. Do it there quickly then. Mr. Potsane now goes through these answers and uses them to teach the new work. Right. We have two things. Then we have to convert or write these functions as a percentage. The exercise that we have just done, uh, that we have just uh, solved, it's going to help us in this regard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you also take into account the information that you gathered or gained when you took the multiplication of fractions. Now, uh, let's look at this. 
Und was wir selbst sind, ist es auch der Wandel. Da verlasst du Geld, er handelt mit Fight. Denn wir haben zu manchen Geld das Fight verhaben. Do you have to multiply it by? Obviously, what you're going to say, what I'm going to say, you multiply this by 20, and then you also multiply this by 20. Yes. Then you move on and say, the second step there will be 2 by 20 will give you 4. And then 5 by 20 will give you 100. And what we're going to have to, In fact, we are writing this fraction as a, as a percentage, of course. Now it's out of 100, it's 1400. When it's 1400, then you can just go straight and say this is 40 per cent. Can you see that? Yes. Once it's out of 100, then you can shoot straight through and say this is 40 per cent. He assigns the learners one question to answer in their books to check if they have understood what he's just taught them. Let's now take two quarters. So I want you to do this one on your own in your scribblers. Can you do it for me? Using this method. Using this method. Just write it up quickly. And one afternoon, just call me there. Or if you have problems, also call me there too. A learner answers on the board. Notice how Mr. Putsani praises the learners. This increases their confidence and motivation and builds a good relationship between teacher and learners. All right. Now let's put ourselves to the test. Let's take out our. You're taking them out already, eh? For class activity on page 40. Mr. Putsanin now assigns exercises to the learners and gets them working on these in their books immediately. So you can just tell me if you are through with number one. Or if you have problems. If there is somewhere you don't understand, call me so that I can help you. Notice how Mr. Botsane walks around the class helping and encouraging learners all the time. As he does this, this interaction with the learners alerts him to the need to teach the learners another method to calculate percentage. Okay, guys. Maybe I need to make some notes here. Okay, let's see when you went with the denominator charts of five and four. It's a relatively, a relatively easy to have an answer. Because eh? I can see there in the class activity we've got uh, a denominators like 7, like 3. Can you see that? So it's really difficult to come up with the number that you multiply with that to get exactly 100. Okay. So in that case, let's say you have a fraction like this one. One third. Then you are requested to convert it to percentage. Now what you need to do is the case like this one. Just feel it. I hear your Paloma Matsplan to be going over to 100 this time, okay? So now you have to think of another way of solving this. Now another way of solving this would be, because we are converting this to fractions, then you have to multiply. You multiply the whole fraction by 500 percent. Can you see that? This will be 33,3. After this, the learners continue working for another 10 minutes, with Mr. Botsane helping them all the time. 
Learners must complete the work for homework if they haven't finished in class. Guys, uh, the period is over, but then I can see many of you are not yet through with the activity. So you go and do it at home and finish it the day as a home. Yeah. We'll start my day tomorrow and then we'll move on to something else.